Um, so Inflect came out of a cultural lens at this technology movement. Um, I studied culture anthropology, so when I read the Ethereum white paper, white paper, I had a different experience than you. Maybe didn't walk away dreaming about Merkle trees, but instead about the future of culture that this was going to catalyze. Um, so Inflect, um, when we look at the history of the web from a cultural lens, uh, sort of break it down into three areas, which is probably different than your version of uh, web one and two and three. But for me, um, I see the first era as about awareness. So you have things like chat rooms uh, leading to things like Facebook. Um, it's all about communication leading to digital identity, mostly digital identity in 2D, so representations of the self. Um, and then that leads to mobilization. So we have things like Kickstarter, things like Uber. Um, and we see capital, property ideas, resources, things that are moving around uh, in different ways and forming different kinds of organizations and starts to change a little bit the nature of work, or not for everyone, obviously, but a possibility. Um, and then also something like the Arab Spring. So the Arab Spring is interesting because you have um, revolutions or protests that are popping up. And for the first time, those movements, they're very specific to where they're occurring, but then they also can be connected on a higher level as part of a larger movement. Um, and so I think what we're entering is um, a reorganization where people are going to start to ground the capabilities of the web into different systems. So a lot of people here today, like Balance, uh, Wayfund, these are all examples of uh, flexible and dynamic and cryptographic systems that are going to enable organizations of the future. Um, so I think what's important about this is that we're envisioning the culture that we want to build and then extrapolating backwards with which to design the technology so that we're designing within context and not just uh, blindly creating things, but actually sort of trying to create a conversation about what we want. Um, so I think when you uh, look at economic models from this cultural perspective, it's less about being centralized, um, and it's more about uh, moving from less or to more less concentrated model models. So um, those little blurbs are like the Ubers, the Facebooks, the Amazons. So they're more concentrated in terms of capital and resources. Um, and then energetically in the future, we're moving to um, less concentrated en entities. So we're sort of looking at communities that are already organized this way, and then we're designing technology that enables these systems to self-direct and evolve themselves in the future. Um, and that looks like ephemeral entities that evolve moment by moment. Um, and so in this example, we're seeing the blockchain as the catalyst that is lowering the activation energy to make this possible. I think that's important to note because that means that it's already occurring. So the systems that we're designing are just helping to facilitate that shift. Um, and the blockchain does that by reducing the overhead required for trust, um, building a collective memory, so something that we can assume in terms of information, uh, reducing the abstraction of value, which is where I'll get into how Inflect is going to help make that possible, um, incorporating cycles, and uh, a binding reputation fabric. So in order to get there, um, Inflect starts with event management. So Events are important. I think events assert a lot about identity. So the fact that you bought a ticket to come to this conference says a lot more about your identity and your reputation than the fact that you like something on a Facebook post. So they're already a place where people are mobilized. They're already a place that requires a lot of cooperation with which to make it happen, um, requires things like budget, things like ticketing. Um, they're also important because they can bring people who um, into an ecosystem of cryptographic identity. So by buying a ticket for something like a conference, you're now getting a Uport wallet with which you can start to access other dApps and other services. Um, and then that also leads to starting to create community networks, which I'll go into a little bit more about what that involves. Um, so the purpose of Inflect is catalyzing communities to form using a shared reputation fabric. And that's also going to form the basis for a cooperative economy in any moment. Um, so Marian's going to show you a demo of Inflect um, after this, but this is just a screenshot of 
an initial page to inflect an event. Um, in the future, you'll be able to do things like set things like ticket capacity um, and set uh, roles of curation, so setting tiers of invite levels of people of how many people certain people can invite. Um, setting bounties for roles that need to get done, like security or uh, ticketing, check-in, et cetera. Um, this is your dashboard. So at the bottom, you have different events that you're part of, um, inviting people through the interface, uh, having shared docs, shared budgets, so balance uh, will be integrated into this to be able to manage your event. Um, and then this is your moments page. So moments can be looking at specific events. It can be looking at your relationships with people over time. Um, and it can also allow you to have a way to start to see how your relationship with communities evolve over time. So where we're going is this isn't just for actual events like DevCon, but actually any of these uh, could be isolated moments. So we have everyone who participates in the release of image and heaps within the first hour of Tiny Human. That can be a community. Um, people who participate in a crowdfund of a farm share project. Farm share is a community supported agriculture platform on Ethereum. Um, people who participate in, in the in attending DevCon 2, um, a microgrid in Toronto, uh, Declare War is in a parallel universe. I would be running that project. Um, so why is this important? Because in every moment, um, a transaction can be created within the perspective of that community, and the value can be distributed transparently and fairly, um, reaching an inflection point for pop-up X. So any campaign, a co-op, a project, that requires a shared reputation fabric or layer of trust. So I think the back feed presentation that you saw um, earlier today is a good example of using a shared protocol to make something like this happen. Um, and then Inflect is a way of catalyzing people to form with which to make the protocol useful. Um, so this is kind of why, where I see this going. Uh, you start to pull in different communities from different platforms like Ujo, like Foam, which is an open architecture platform, um, the Transactive Grid Project, which you'll hear about tomorrow from FarmShare. Um, and all of these communities can then start to collaborate together. And I think what that leads to is we're starting to move around value without the abstraction um, of money in certain instances. So other things that you can see it being useful, um, creating like friend insurance networks, uh, better search, better dating or matching algorithms, um, granular privacy sharing, uh, creating rewards for community contributors. So if you wanted to help manage DevCon 2, being able to get discounts on tickets and then maybe use that reputation for other events in the future, um, loyalty programs, et cetera. Um, in order to make Inflect possible, Inflect is really just sort of a, a platform with which to uh, allow all these uh, other great projects to come together. So Uport, um, your identity and reputation management, um, being able to have like a cryptographic form of Google Docs in the future um, through things like eSign, um, incorporating boardrooms. So any of those communities in any moment could instantiate a board to make decisions. Um, the same thing for balance and the same thing for Wayfund. So all of these things are either already integrated or on the pro in the process of being integrated and Marian will tell you about that. Um, so proposed funding model of Inflect, um, possibly a crowdfund, um, possibly having paid membership model for being part of the community, um, and then using boardroom to management, manage it, um, allocating funds to developers, things like search algorithms, things like services on top. Um, and also because it's open source, it's also an open marketplace for developing services that communities might like to use, such as loyalty rewards programs or secondhand ticketing markets. Um, so this is not to confuse you, but just to um, sort of try to ground this uh, overall goal of moving towards using communities to move around value without abstraction of money. So this is a proposal for some projects that we have going on in a place called Calicoon, New York, which is at two hours outside of New York City. So from here, we can organize a specific community or set of intersecting communities 
um, that start to use the blockchain to move around resources like agriculture and energy, creating a collaborative space for education, which they already have a set of spaces um, set up there also for a co-housing project that's going to exist there. Um, and so I think that as we begin to start to try to map these projects in the real world, that they'll begin to inform the future development of these platforms. Um, and then this is just to acknowledge my own personal web of contributors to this project and also for the Inflect team. So thanks, I'm gonna turn it over to Mariam. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a, a brief demo of, of what we can do now with Inflect. So I've got a the DevCon e e event created. So uh, yeah, we can add venues, total capacity, uh, start date. Uh, we could have uh, we can have events that can be joinable or can be invite only. Uh, we can set the, the total budget at roles. And this is the dashboard. So for example, I want to invite a person. Let's say, let's invite Stefan. And I want to make him an attendee. And yeah, we we can also add expenses like ticketing, let's say. And. That's it for, for, for the moment. Uh, no, I want to tell you a few, a few details about the technical, uh, about the contract. So we have the, the database and, uh, and the logic completely different because we, we want to keep adding features to it. So let everybody benefit from, from the additions that, that we make. So everybody can update to a new version. Uh, we, we also have uh, Inflect.js, which, which is a JavaScript library, um, um, an interface that, that you can use to add and uh, retrieve information from, from Inflect, so you can easily integrate it in, in, in your project. Uh, the code will be open source, and we're working really hard to release it as soon as possible. <laughs> 